Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you um, how to add a news, news feed actually for, from SharePoint Online to the team channel. So I'm now in a team, cha team which is called a demo news uh, site. And uh, according to documentation, you can add it uh, to the channel, but for some reason it didn't work. So what I will do is I'll click the three dots and I will add it to the uh, team itself. So I'll go to manage team and I will go to apps and I will go to more apps and I will look for SharePoint news. Found it. I will click add and I'll set up the connector. Interface looks a bit uh, strange, but I will just click save and it will be added to, to the team. You see here I can click uh, configure and if I want to remove it, we can do it from here. So currently it's added. Uh, we also see SharePoint uh, News Connector is now uh, connected to your channel. Um, by the way, you can add the connector also from here. If you see, you can look. Let's see, configure, we see it's set up. Okay, so all we need to do is currently to go to the site and to put some posts and hopefully we will see it also in the channel, general channel. So I'm just going to to a file tab. I will just need to go to the SharePoint site. Let's go to file tab. It's not showing me anything. Here we are, open in SharePoint. And let's create, a, let's ignore this. Go to the home page, And here I will add one news. Let's take this one, looks good. And we will uh, give it a name. Let's call it uh, News1. Text doesn't matter. I will go to the page details and change the thumbnail. So we have something that will show uh, like this. So I have some text, I have a picture, I post it. This is how it looks on the SharePoint site. Let's add another one, which is a link. I'll just take, for instance, this link and I will paste it here. It also will connect, uh, show uh, recommended uh, preview. Let's post it. And uh, now we will see uh, two posts. Okay, so let's see how it is in Teams. Let's go back to the post and hopefully uh, in some minutes we shall see it. I'll put on pause. Oops, here you see. Wonderful. This is exactly what we expected. So all users in the channel can see it. Um, okay, but what happens uh, if for some reason we want to stop it. Okay, by the way, if you click on this, you will go to the post. That's obvious, yeah. Um, what happens if, if you want to stop doing that? So what we could do is we can go to the three dots and go to connections. And we will look for this connector. I'll click here on configure because that's the only one which is configured. And if I click manage, I can now remove this. It will ask for a reason. And I just click remove and no longer will this uh, connector be working in normal pass posts. And you can see also here actually the, the message. So uh, try it all and uh, let me know what you think. Goodbye.